Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes about ADHD and Autism. My name is Vibeke and uh, today I will talk about the way out of stress. Um, we, uh, we often talk about how stressful our lives are or our kids are, but, but uh, not so often do we speak about how to, how to help ourselves with getting less stressed. Um, when I uh, am working with kids or with myself uh, about stress, I am um, I'm always using five circles. And um, each circle represents a feeling. Number one is what, oh, I love it so much. It's the best in the world almost. And uh, the, the second circle is, I like it a lot. It's it's quite okay. And uh, number number three is, I have no idea. I don't care at all. Not happy, not sad, it's okay, I don't care. And number four is making you sad. Like, this is not fun. Oh, I hate doing the laundry. Whatever. And uh, number five is almost the worst thing that could happen. Um, if I have a kid who, um, for, for example, say, I hate the school. I don't want to go to school. I have had such a kid in my school uh, as a teacher. And uh, the parents were sure that uh, the problem was in the school. And we saw a happy kid, a happy boy every day. He worked his best, he did his best, but, but still his parents said he wouldn't, he wouldn't in school. He was screaming when the taxi arrived to drive him to school. Uh, the kid is, were, were having autism. Um, and uh, then I, I, I take time with him, only him and me all alone and I asked him to give me a little note with everything he was thinking about uh, in to go to school before he went to school and one of them was clothes on I didn't thought it would be a big deal for him but actually he put it out here in number five I gave him another breakfast because he never liked to eat and I was sure this would be number four or five but I was wrong there. I was I was surprised. That was not what I've seen uh, thought coming. Then the taxi, because his parents told me that he was screaming when he saw the taxi. But actually, he liked driving taxi. I was even more confused. And uh, he was having a little brother, a little screaming brother. And I thought maybe it is because that he he is allowed to stay home with his mother. That might be the issue which is stressing him so much that he can't go to school. But actually, he loved his little brother. Then, when we were finished, when we were done, there was about 20 notes on it. And uh, the only one in number five was clothes on. And I asked him, what can we do? Oops. <laughs> what can we do with this clothes to make it be a number four? Instead of number five, what can we do? Just, can you tell me anything, just a little tiny thing, to make it a little bit better, so it's not a number five anymore. It's not this, rah, it's this, hmm. Um, and he said, can I, can I suggest anything? I said, yes, you can. Okay, the worst thing every morning is that when I'm lay laying in my bed, and my dad is calling me to uh, to get clothes on. I had to leave the warm bed. He was very skinny. And go all the way to the bathroom. Where my clothes is laying on the very cold floor. And I'm freezing so much. If the clothes could be in my room. Just just there. Where, where I could reach it from my bed. It would be, it would be number three. What? That is great. That is a piece of cake. And then, um, and I told him that I would call his mom immediately and ask her if that could be a new deal. That the clothes was laying, so he could reach it from his bed. <clears throat> Do you want me to put it in number two or one? He said, "Yes. What? What would it take? It would take one piece of candy on the top of the clothes. If there was." one piece of candy, just a small piece of candy, then it would be number two for me to get clothes on. I said, 
we try it. I cannot promise you candy, but I can promise you I will ask your mom and dad. And uh, they were just happy that there was something to do about it. And actually, they um, they made this deal. They they put a chair uh, right uh, right uh, aside the bed and uh, put its clothes and a little candy bear, a little uh, some kind of candy on the top of it every evening. And uh, mornings were no problems from that second. Just an idea.